listen to me. This build is going to ruin the game once everybody makes this build. This is by far the best build in NBA 2K20. You need to trust me. If you're looking to buy or sell an account or get your badges grinded, make sure you hit up Goat Plugged. The link will be in the description. You will now regret their services. Now, most YouTubers say they have the best build in the game, but they just want the views or the attention. I am telling you right now, this is the best build in the game. When I tell you I am literally unguardable, I am seriously unguardable. There is no way to guard this build properly. It just comes down to the user skill. There is no proper way to guard this build. And for the few people that do have them, I hate guarding them because it sucks and it's super hard. So what you're gonna wanna do is pick the playmaking pie chart. Trust me, just pay attention and trust me. You're gonna pick the top one for the speed. Let me just say this. You're gonna be 6'7 with 97 speed. This is not a troll, okay? Just stay tuned. Now, do this exactly how I do it. Now the title of the build might change based on how you change up your attributes because I'm gonna give you guys a few options. Do not worry. So do exactly what I do. You wanna find the sweet spot for your badges, trust me. You want 12, let me find the sweet spot right there for you guys, all right? You wanna max out all of your shooting badges, trust me, please trust me. You wanna have 20 playmaking. Now you can have more. Now if you want more playmaking, that is fine. Or if you want more finishing, that is fine. I like defensive badges. I had like five or seven on my build, I forgot. But you can do it however you want as far as when it comes to defense. So here is what I would do. I would put steel. Now I ISO. I ISO. When I miss, I want to get my offensive rebound over the shorter guard. And I can just put it right back up. So for me, I did this. Then I put the rest on block. This is my exact build. This is exactly how I have it. Like I said, you can get more playmaking or more finishing. Who the hell are flabbergast is this? Stop, we got a spammer. Okay, stop. Sorry. I'm doing this live for you guys. Okay. There we go. So, you're going to continue. Make him built. I don't know why, but I feel like I hit terrible contact layups. And you will see in the highlights. So, stay tuned for the highlights. Because I hit bullshit in the paint. And it's like, how does that go in? And I was actually in a game chat the, the other day. And this kid was furious playing me. It was hilarious. So, make him built. Make him... Six foot seven. You guys are looking at his three and his ball control. You guys, don't you worry. Don't you worry about that. Trust me. So, six seven. You're gonna wanna make him. Let's find the sweet spot weight. Okay, so you want that. Where's that 89 XL? Do we lose that strength? Yes, we do. So you want right there, 183. Okay. Wingspan all the way down. All the way down. Don't worry. Just pay attention, because remember, at 99, it's plus 4, and at 99.9, it's plus 5. So that gives you an 80 shot 3, an 81 driving dunk, 86 driving layup, 86 midi, 91 ball control, and then with the, with the gym rat boost, that's 92 speed, then you got 97 speed, and you're 6'7", and if you don't believe me, this is a god build, just watch the highlights and watch how little skill it takes. I didn't even do any good dribble god moves in this purposely. So I wanted to show you how just easy it is to use this build. So for your takeover, I screwed up. I screwed up. I spicked. I, I spicked? What the hell is that? I picked spot up shooter. That was not smart. If I'm an elite, it'll probably probably be smart, but you gotta go with slasher or playmaker. I would do slasher if I had to do it over again, because I hit bullshit in the paint a lot. So go into slasher. Now the build could be a mid-range slasher or a slashing play. I have made a build on this earlier in the year. I mean, excuse me, I have made a video on this earlier in the year. But I wanted to show you guys that it is just still glitchy. It's still the best build in the game, even after patch 10. All right, so you guys look, I still haven't even done my intro. Let's get it. What's going on YouTube? It's the Go White Boy of 2K, this young Dirk. Let's get right into it. Put it.
Okay, so you guys are about to see why this is really, really cheesy. Let me just say this, okay? We're in the stage right now. And this uh, top five clan is a pretty decent clan, so it's not like I'm playing anybody who sucks here. But see, he didn't think I could shoot because my title of my build is a mid-range slasher. So he just sat in the paint, made me shoot. That's what I love, bro. If you don't, if you're playing somebody you don't know, they don't think you can shoot. And most of the time, if you hit a three, they just think it was a lucky three. But that's not the case. You got that 80 three-pointer and you can just shoot. So, listen up. You're 6'7 with 97 speed. Most guards you're guarding are not 6'7. The only time I can't rim run consistently is if I'm playing a lock that is taller than me. If they're my height, it still works. If they're an inch shorter, it literally does not work. Intimidator, for some reason, does nothing. If I'm playing a sweat, and I will lie, you can call me cheesy, you can call it cheap. All I do is run straight to the paint, hop step, and go up with it, or pump fake and go up with it. They literally can do nothing. And if you miss, you can get your board, because remember, your offensive rebound is up. The only time, like I said, it doesn't work is if a taller lock is on you or the same height i believe it might be the same height i'm not sure i don't really pay attention it's just so overpowered you guys then i have my sharp takeover so i can cook up and which makes them play up but like i said for you guys you definitely want to choose the slashing takeover and so i can shoot i can drive okay just look at that bro and i can actually fade but i don't do it a lot i have a clip in here somewhere of of me hitting a fade because i i rarely just fade but if i really wanted to sweat even more i could do pick and roll fades oh my bro pick and pop for the fades it would be so overpowered i'm actually gonna start to do that a little more if you guys want me to fade more to show you the full potential of the build tell me and i will i'll actually use screens for once i hate screens but i'll use them i'm gonna show you guys my badges and my sigs and what to use so do not worry about that i just want to show you guys this clip of me fading i'll even fast forward it for you guys right here all right so look i got the rock gonna have some fun with him gonna go that way i lied i'm going to the paint but see as you can see bro you pump fake and you just go up this play is the fade i know i don't know why i'm getting so excited for a fade but i just want to show you guys you can actually shoot on a mid-range slasher you can this build does everything bro look at this just easy they don't expect it bro let's get into the badges so these are the current badges that i use you could obviously use whatever you want i use consistent so you don't really have to time your layups contact for those contact layup and dunks fancy footwork and slithery finisher for them hop steps i really recommend consistent fancy and slithery it makes the hop steps so 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 easy and it's so cheesy here are my shooting badges these are all pretty much a must except hot zone if you really don't have a lot of hot zones do not use that you could switch it for difficult shots but keep in mind i know a shot creator or a, so a person who likes to fade he's not even a shot creator he's a play slash and he only has difficult shots on bronze you really only need it on bronze this year these playmaking badges are pretty much um pretty much a must i wouldn't even switch them up just put these on trust me bro please just trust me bailout i like because if i have to pass out of a hop step which is rare but just in case i don't want to turn over the ball floor journal you could change if you want but you want to make your teammates good so yeah for defense pretty simple just put on clamps and rebound chaser i like rebound chaser because i iso if you don't iso put on like pick dodger or pickpocket or intimidator it doesn't really matter so uh, let me show you my signature styles you guys if you're new like this video and subscribe i would really really appreciate it join the goat gang all right you guys so here are my sigs i'm giving you my jump shot my dribble moves all this stuff and you guys the park dunks i'm not gonna lie to you put on i know people don't like park dunks because they get blocked a lot but these park dunks i have on literally never get blocked and they're really really cheesy 
So put on these park dunks, put on everything I got. If you want to be dominant like me, I hope you guys have a great day. Go out. Bye.